I'm just in the Christmas spirit, like I'm in the holiday spirit already, like I just want to turn up, turn up, turn up. So today's video is just going to be a Snapchat q and A. I I told you guys to send me questions on Snapchat for me to answer and you guys did send a lot, a lot, a lot of questions. <laughs> but I got, I kept getting one question in particular over and over and over and over again. Can you guess what question that is? Mm -hmm. Anyways guys, let's just jump right into it. Before we jump right into it, if you are not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Join the family. We're a big family here, so please click on that subscribe button right down below. I will truly, truly appreciate it. And yeah, guys, let's jump into the first question. First question, what's the best way to face depression? I've been depressed for a very long time, but I don't know how to face it. And also, your advice for people who want to start their own business. Um, depression is something I haven't really dealt with, personally. But I would say my own advice is for you to definitely talk to someone you trust, a loved one, or even like a professional that can actually help you out of the situation. Question, I love your ear presents, tell me all about them. Oh, thank you. Um, I don't want to ruin my hair. So, I have a total of one, two, three, four, four ear piercings. I have the anti-tragus, anti-tragus, whatever it's called. This one wasn't that painful, like surprisingly, it wasn't that painful. This one, where my big hoop is, obviously I got that. As a kid, when I was a child, my parents did that. I didn't feel it. This one, I got it out of rebelliousness. <laughs> like, I was rebellion, and I went to go and get this in one local shady place like this. Like, they didn't even disinfect my ear. They just took the jewelry and just, like, psh, punctured it into my ear. But thank God this did not get infected, because I don't know what I was thinking. This one, I got, like, almost... The same time, yeah, I got this one the same time I got this one, yeah. It wasn't that painful, to be honest. So on this ear, I used to have the industrial bar. I don't know if you guys can see the hole, like right here. I used to have it, it got infected, and I had to take it out. Now, let me tell you a quick story. There's this place, I think I've told this story before. There's this place in Misaga, if you live in Misaga, you know what I'm talking about. This place is opposite Clary to Supply. You should know what I'm talking about. They always have like two for one piercings, like so you get two piercings for the price of one. I went there, long story short, I'm never going to do that again. Um, it got infected. I didn't have the ear shape for the piercing. The piercer didn't tell me that I should just like Put it in and my ear was folding so the piercing could not heal properly. So that's why I got infected Those are all about my piercings. Okay, then I used to have obviously I have my nose and I used to have a belly ring But I took that out like a few weeks ago. I feel like I'm too grown for that stuff right now, but hey I have a question. I hope you answer. Have you ever been bullied before? Um, yes, I have. I went to boarding school in Nigeria. I was in boarding school from grade 7 to grade 8. Yeah, that's how young I was. And we were also there with a lot of older kids. So yeah, most of us got bullied um, because we were younger, you know. But they kind of said it was discipline, but to me it was bullying. I never ever really, really stood for it. I always tried to defend myself and yeah, I have gotten bullied before. Next question. If you could live anywhere else in the world, where would it be? Love you, girl. You're amazing. Thank you so much. If I could live anywhere else in the world, obviously, I think I would love to live in... Actually, I live in my dream country right now. I live in Canada. Like, this country is so peaceful. And everyone here is... Well, in Toronto, anyways. Everyone here is so nice. And it's just a diverse country. And I just love it. So this is actually my dream country. What do you look for in a guy? First things I look for in a guy is... He must be God fearing because I feel like if a guy is God fearing, he's going to respect you out of the fear of God. You understand? And I also um, look for someone who is ambitious. Like, I don't really care if my guy has like money because I know that I have two hands and I'm going to work for myself and provide for myself. But also, my guy, you know, my future husband, my boyfriend, is very, very ambitious, know what they want to do in life and to be a go getter. That's what I look for. And someone who also respects his mom, you know, someone who treats and love his, loves his mom. Because you can obviously tell by the way he's going to treat you, by the way he treats his mom and his sisters. Do you understand? And someone who's obviously caring and sensitive and patient. <laughs> I'm describing for her right now. Uh. <laughs> Next question. So, could be devil. What advice can you give someone moving to Toronto? Um, Toronto is a very, very diverse city, but it's really, really expensive to live in. The standard of living is very, very high in Toronto. Um, what to expect? Just get ready for the cold. You would need to invest in a proper, proper winter jacket because the winter here is no child's play. Okay? Well, it's a very, very lovely city. You're going to make lots and lots of friends because people here are so friendly. Um, the only thing I'll say again is the standard of living, okay? Um... 
Hey Tony, I'd like to know if you have any hidden talents, something that no one would expect that you do. Um huh. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I have any hidden talent. I can't sing, that's for sure. on my Snapchat know that because I'm always lip syncing. Um I can roll my tongue. But I mean almost everyone in the world can roll their tongue. Uh I can dance. I would like to think I can dance. Uh what tells my hidden talent? That is it. Pretty much. I'm not that talented. <laughs> How old were you when you first started dating? Did your parents know about this? My first boyfriend boyfriend was probably when I was in like primary school. It wasn't that serious, it wasn't that deep. But my first real relationship was when I was in grade eleven. No, grade ten in Nigeria, grade ten. That was my first serious relationship. I've only been in two serious relationships in my life with my ex and with, with my boo. For real, Emmons. <laughs> Do my parents know about this? No, my parents didn't know about my first relationship because then I was too young. Like, but yeah, my parents know about my first relationship, but they definitely know about this one. They are so supportive. So thank God for that. What do you do when I know filming makeup videos? What do I do? I'm either in school, I'm studying, I'm watching Netflix or chilling with OVO Blaze because my life isn't that interesting. Are you Jamaican? No, I'm Nigerian. Hello, Tony. What high school did you go to in Nigeria? Well, I went to a couple in Nigeria. I went to Caleb International School in Lekki. I went to Caleb International School in Magodo. Then I went to Rainbow College. Yeah, and I went to Tenjon of Arc Catholic Secondary School right here in Canada to finish up my high school because I didn't finish up my high school in Nigeria. Hey, Tony, how are you? My question for the Korean is how or what to do to be as financially stable as you are? How are you able to afford such a beautiful car and house? And how you and how you pay for all those expensive clothes. Please take no offense to my question. Girl, my clothes are not expensive. I'm not really into like designer stuff. Like anything that looks good is cool with me. Like it's very hard for me to drop my money on all those kind of things. So I don't wear expensive clothes. This dress is from Boohoo. This is from the dollar store. Yeah, Dollarama. How am I to be financially stable? Um, what I'll just say honestly, true to God, is YouTube has been such a big blessing for me. Like that's how I'm to be financially stable. And also, I save my money a lot and I also like have mutual funds and all those things. That's how I'm able to save them coins, okay? What pieces do you have the most in life? For me, I'll definitely say when people aren't straightforward with me. When people always want to do mago mago, kona kona, wuru you know, I hate that stuff. Like, just be straightforward, just be honest. And that's what pieces me of the most. When I can't, when someone intentionally likes my face, I know they are lying, like, I can get so mad. Like, uh, I'd like to know your age and how your Nigerian friends deal with you having a boyfriend. It's kind of difficult if you know what I mean. Um, I'm 21. I've been dating for a while for three years. So that is probably when I was 18. Yeah. And by then I was old enough to have a boyfriend. And after a friend I got really, really serious, then I introduced him to my parents. Before that, my parents didn't want to hear boyfriend. Boyfriend what? Boy what? Face your book. That's all my parents ever wanted me to do. Face your book. Face your book. Enter school. That's all. How do you know you found the right guy because there are some guys who would treat you right but there's always that one skeleton under the bed see okay for me um for all is the right guy for me and i know that and i'm confident about that how i knew was just the way he treated me like for all is so sensitive like he's so nice so patient like he's so supportive that's how i knew i found the right guy because he always wanted to do right by me like he would always go out of his way to make sure i have a smile on my face like that's the type of, that's how I knew I found the right guy. You know what I'm saying? In terms of that skeleton under the bed, my own rule of thumb is what I go for is anything before me is your business. That's the past. But for me, you know, that's us. And I kind of try to disregard everything before me, you know, except really, really serious things. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? And honestly, um, if the skeleton under the bed, I don't know what you mean by that, but if it doesn't have anything to do with you and the guy is not a criminal or you know something extreme extremely bad like that i feel like it's forgivable so for example if the person you, you're dating now has had previous relationships in the past that is in the past let it be in the past Shiba, do you understand what's the time from in nigeria i like to claim ain't no party like a lagos party i like to claim lagos but my dad is from Ocean State, so obviously I'm from Ocean, I'm a Yoruba girl. But I grew up in Lagos, I was born in Lagos, so yeah, I'm from Lagos. Uh-huh. 
Next question. Have you ever been cheated on? Mm. Yes and no. I'll say yes and no. So when I used to date my ex, um, we broke up for a while and then he did something with another babe. When we were not together. So yes and no, kind of. Yeah, I have. Um, what's your biggest fear? Oh my god, my biggest fear is me losing any loved one like my dad. Oh my god, if I lost my dad today, like, God forbid, I reject it in Jesus' name. But that's my biggest fear, losing my dad, losing my mom, losing Pharrell, losing my sisters, losing any loved one. Oh my god, that's like my biggest fear ever. Um, what can't leave the house without my phone? <laughs> I'm addicted to this thing. Um... Here you go, so many questions. How much was your first duty payment? My first duty payment was $100. When I saw that thing hit my bank account, when it hit my bank account, I was like, what? I made money on YouTube. I made money. Like, I was so happy. That was my first ever duty payment. Um, any ideas on how one can grow his or her channel? Um, honestly, it's like I've said before, I just feel like making interesting videos, videos that actually engage your audience, having nice thumbnails, catchy titles, and also, let's also remember that YouTube is like this, eh? YouTube is heels and values, heels and values. Okay, so just keep doing what you do, always try to improve, and then that will definitely grow your numbers. What tribe are you from, and do you speak more than two languages? If you had one thing to change about the world, what would it be, sis? I'm Yoruba, my tribe is Yoruba, I'm a Yoruba girl. Just speak one or two languages, no, only speak English and Yoruba. If you had one thing you could change about the world, what would it be, sis? Poverty. That's what I'll change about the world, poverty. Like, gosh. That's definitely one thing I'll change about the world. Apart from YouTube, what do you do? Um, I'm in school full-time. I go to Ryerson University, and I'm studying business management. Please, how many siblings do you have? I have three siblings, two beautiful sisters, and I have one handsome brother. Do you plan on coming back to Nigeria anytime soon? Girl. Can we talk? Like, can we be late? I've been wanting to come back to Nigeria for like a holiday or something for the last two years. Every year I keep on saying I'm coming back, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. But something always comes up and I never ever end up going. Like I was going to go again this year because my friends are going, Jemima is going, V is going. <laughs> I'm so sad. I really wasn't able to come back because I knew like, I was going to be late in December but I can't go. <laughs> yeah, things always come up. Like, hopefully one day, Sha, one day I would end up going. Hi guys, that's the end of this Q&A video. I know it was quite quick. I have somewhere to be tonight, so I had to hurry this up, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button right down below, and until next time, 